Yo, 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 yo. Big up yourselves and welcome back to the channel. There's a bit of echo in here, I do apologise. And welcome back to episode four of the studio build. Now today's episode is going to be the second fix electrics. Because we know what we're doing with that. We've blagged it till now, but now we know what we're doing. So yeah, we'll be fitting sockets for the fuse board, obviously down lights in here, smart down lights outside. We'll set them all up with you. And it'll be nice. I've got something to show you first though. No, no. I've had to cut some holes guys. And that is because it was wet. Now, I'm not sure what was causing the wet, but it was trapped between the vapor barrier and the board. Obviously plastering is a wet game, yeah? And heat in here, there was a lot of condensation before because everything we've done really has had moisture in it. So the paint, everything like that. I've left that like that because there's a joint on the board here. It's dried out now to be fair, but all the water was dripping down and getting collected there. We've had a few more around the room, but we've got a heater on now. Listen, do not judge. Do not judge me, yeah? It's real life, we have to get power on. So it's on. <laughs> so we've had a heater in, drying it out nicely, um, and I'm gonna get a dehumidifier later and get it in here just to suck the last bit of the moisture out because I think it's just trapped. So when it's been plastered, the water's soaked through and it can't get anywhere. In a house, it'll just dissipate off into the walls, into the brick, all stuff like that. But in here, because of the plastic sheeting for the vapor barrier, it's stuck. So we've just got to draw it out and hopefully, I'm praying, once it's drew the moisture out, it doesn't come back. Because I was so upset when that come through, honestly. I thought I'd done really well. Anyway, I'm gonna get the gear, get the tools. While I'm doing that, run a ting. So, got the gear out the van. This is what we will be installing today. You know, if you watch this channel, that we are a big fan of BG and Laseco lighting. So first of all, sockets, wiring accessories, switches, spurs, all that jazz. We will be using the Laseco white. What white is this? Because it looks sick, pearlescent white. <laughs> so USB sockets, these are the two that we are using. So it's got fast charge USB-C up to 30 watts and USB-A to 27 watts. So I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's like glittery. Gaff has chosen. They do look sick though, to be fair. So these, it's just literally a plate on the front. They come in all different colors and they mint to be fair. So that's the front plate and that is the actual socket itself. So literally pop the front off, fit the socket, fit it back, Click it back on, nice, done. So they're the sockets. We've got two USB sockets going in and then the rest are normal sockets. We've then got a three gang switch, obviously for the wall, for the lighting. And we have got two, oh, a bit of something on that, two fuse spurs. So one is gonna be doing the speaker in the ceiling. One is gonna be for the heater. Lighting, we have gone for the F-Type Compact. So I'll open one of these up. So lights we've gone for, this is a cool white fitting, fully dimmable. It's got your push fit connectors in there. I've just took that off, you don't need to take that off. I don't know why I did, I just, just rammed it, took it off, you know what I mean? So they're going in here, there's 10 of these going in. They come with all different colored bezels. We'll just be fitting the white and it is just a magnetic bezel that sits on the front. Nice. You might see me fit these to be fair. You've seen me fit the smart ones in the bedroom in my house and we've fitted them on a few jobs now. So yeah, you might have seen them on the channel before, but yeah, we really like them. Dimmable is standard. If we wanted them dimmable, we won't be in here, but it's always nice to have the option, you know what I mean? So we've got 10 of them, and then outside in the canopy, we will be fitting these, which are the F-Type Smart. So same again, same sort of connection, but obviously a different color. So here's our ones for indoor green, outdoor smart ones are blue. So these are color changing, dimmable through the app. You've seen me fit these again in my bedroom. But yeah, I think it'll look mint with that canopy at night, all different colors. Oh, nice. So yeah, there for outside, we have got four of those going up. 
Cameras aren't here yet. If they are here, by the time I finish this video, I'll go and get them and put them in. But I might be doing another video on the security in here. So the alarm system, we're gonna be fitting cameras and changing the locks. I have changed the locks already, but I'll do a little video, show you how it's done, you know what I mean? Save you some money if you wanna change your locks. Yeah, that's the accessories. Now fuse board, we're gonna be fitting again, the BG Fortress board with RCBOs. So this is a main switch consumer unit with I think seven, seven usable ways. That's just the buzz bar rattling around inside. Seven usable ways. So we'll be fitting that first. We'll get it all No, we won't. I ain't fitting that first. I'm fitting it last. And we're going on a boat. But yeah, that's what we fit here. Type A, RCBOs. That's all I can tell you about that really. Show you more when we're actually fitting it. So what I'm gonna do first is get the laser level out set up a level for our sockets and then start marking up around the fast fits boxes and get them cut out. Boom, lasers up and as you can see I'm taking full advantage of that metal beading in the wall. Nice! So that's set up and that is going to be our centre line for all the sockets. Plaster Ollie has brought them out near enough perfect where I need them so I'll be using that, yeah, like I say, as the centre line. That'll be marked up with the eyes on the fast fix boxes. Push it over there, cut it out. In here, I've just got to be careful that I don't go through that um, vapor barrier behind. So I'm gonna be very careful. If I do go through it, I will just tape it up, but just gotta try my best, haven't I? You know what I mean? I'll go and get some fast fix boxes now, get them all marked up, and then get the multi-tool on. got the main apprentice in, say hello. Uh, and the second apprentice, yay, yay, yay. Give us a spin. No. Go on, show us your get up. Going back on your YouTube. Just give us a spin. Oh, okay, we'll get the back of it now. Oh, brand everything, guys, yeah? So between the new gang, we've got the boxes. Whoa. We've got the boxes cut out now, apart from these ones over here. So there's two going on there. So what I'm gonna do is get the stub buddy out, mark up where our joists are, and mark out where we can cut the boxes out. So there's two doubles and a single. What I'm gonna do though is leave the internet single for a bit because we have got Wi-Fi in here. So until I get um, a router or an access point, it's pointless doing it. So they're drilled out. Yes, I've chipped the plaster. Bit of filler will sort it, stop shouting at me. For this one that's high level on the wall, there's a joist somewhere here. So what I'm gonna do is get it as close to that as I can. It won't be in line with the one below, but it will give us a bit of extra support for the TV bracket when we put that up. So I'll move that to the left slightly yeah. and that will be nice. What? Oh, gonna do the thing in the name. Put the socket on. Yeah. So I've set Zoe up and she's going to have a go at cutting these two boxes out. So I'll leave you with her. What do you think about that? Go all right? Yeah. Nice. What do you think? Out of 10. It's all right, need a bit of filler, but so will mine. Yep, so with this one, point it over to yeah, you. Yeah, all right, I've seen it. So she's had a go. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a good job it's you, Zoe. It's a good job you're the customer. Because I won't be happy with that. You're sacked. No, that's all right, to be fair, they fit at least. Need a bit of filler around them, but so will mine. You know, she's done well, first go. That's not very good, but the boxes are all right. So now you just got to use your imagination. And this, times eight, well, times 10 with the USBs. So we're stripping the cable off. Getting cut about, push that slack in a bit. A bit bigger than your hand. 
cuts it off, stripping the ends. Nice. Get some sleeve on it. Cut the end off. And then we can get into a socket. Boom. Crack the front off. Nice. Pins are slackened off on a few. I'll just loosen the others off real quick. Another nice little feature of the BG sockets is the colour coding. So you've got your green and yellow for earth either side, brown for your live, blue for your neutral. Helps apprentices and things like that and obviously it's a quick glance and you know which one you're putting it in. And then now that that's done you can leave the cover off if you're painting or anything like that and then your cover will literally just click on and it looks mint. It's a shame you can't see the pearlescent in the camera but it's mint, I can promise you that. So power's done, we're moving on to lighting. What I'm gonna do is mark a line, 750 off the back wall, 750 off the front wall, and then I've got the measurements in my phone for where the spots are. So as you can see now, 750, the laser's up across the ceiling. So let's get the measurements up on my phone. So our first one, 750 off that wall. We've then got another meter, 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 meter. That gives us our first row of spots. So I'll get these marked up and then move on to the front side. So then I marked, we've got our 750 meter, 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 meter. I've put the stud buddy up just to double check that I'm not anywhere near our marks and we're all good. So let's get these cut out and then move on to the front side. So while I'm drilling these out, I need to be really careful that I'm not hitting that vapor barrier. Fingers crossed I don't go through it. If the pilot bit does go through it, I will just tape it back up. And uh, hopefully there's a bit of slack on the actual vapor barrier itself. And I can just push it up and push the spots in front of it. Boom. I'm good enough. Hey, That's that road done. Mark up this row and get them cut out the same. So now that the lights are all drilled out, we will be fitting our lights. So I've just shown you the lights, Lucico F-Type. And what we've got to do is, if you can see there, I don't know if it'll be backwards for you, but it's not neutral earth live, neutral earth live. So yeah, we'll get the cable stripped, get them pushed in, clamp it down. There is a screw in here, but this is optional. With it clamping down like that, it still passes all the regs and things like that. They've put the screw on just in case you're using a bigger flex or two five or something like that, just to secure it a bit better. But with our one five or one mil, I can't remember which one I used, one five I think. With that, it's gonna fit in perfectly and just clamp down. So let's get a couple of these stripped and connected. So I've done the majority of these lights now, there's two left, and just to show you how simple it is, I'm gonna get the apprentice on it. Bruce, not simple then. No, it's not simple, it's, it's really hard. Zoe, you're gonna be really good at this. It's very difficult. So first thing she's gotta do is cut the link. So just because she's not used to stripping them how I would strip them, she's gonna cut down the middle, pull the earth out, and strip the earth. So she's cut that, and then pulling up on the plastic. <laughs> That's what enough. Mean, That's enough. So she's just cutting the excess off now. Oh, you've cut the cable off. <laughs> Jackman. So we'll try that again. This time, don't cut the cables, Zoe. Okay. Just the sheathing, yeah. Yep. So pull up on the earth. I am. I've got to get it first. It's very tricky. It's because you're doing it with your hands. Well, she meant to do it with the, this thing. The cutters, yeah, or some pliers. Hold on, then. Bear with. Just squeeze it a little bit and then I'm pull it. I'm going to, hold on, I know what I'm doing. Christ. Nope, it's not moving. Let's hide that and just pretend I've done it, okay? You haven't showed me. <laughs> you got it? You're a dick. <laughs> right, I've just shown her on the other one, so now she's going to do this one. Go on. We're not saying you showed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I haven't shown her on the other one. So then grab the earth. You don't need to tell me, I know what I'm doing. We've just seen that. What have you done now? Trust. Oh, I broke the thing. Don't worry about that. We'll just cut it shorter. You're in the ceiling if you cut it any shorter, mate. Oh, That's it. Not it. that much. Oh, Jack. That's enough. Don't go any further. Oh, man, I Now pull the grade okay, back. I know, I know. I know. I'm not helping you. You don't need to help me. Now cut the cables to length. Oh, that's... Oh. Smock cutters ain't the best. 
pop. No, you've just got to strip the ends off the cable. So no, I know this. Oh, I remember this okay. from last time. So now she's cut them to length, strip the ends off. She's just got to put the earth sleeve on. Tommy's helping out, look. What are you doing? Making a tower. Making a tower. <laughs> oh, you've broke that now. I'm going to make another tower. Okay. I'm going to make all the towers. Nice. Yeah? I think so. Happy with it? I don't know. What is it? There it is. Done. It was a bit harder than I'd imagined because um, she didn't know how to strip it, but I forgot that. So yeah, another one down, one more to go. So now out here, I've had to leave the camera in there because it's raining. It always rains when I go outside, it's been dry all day. So these ones we're fitting are the smart lights. They're exactly the same connections, exactly the same fitting really, but different colour. And this tells us that it is the smart colour changing. So just before you get soaked, these are the lights we're putting up now. So they're already drilled out. I'm going to get these connected, put the camera back in there so it doesn't get wet. But yeah, there's going to be four out here. So now that all our power's done and lighting, we move on to the fuse board. We've isolated the power from inside, from our 10 mil coming out. So this is fed from 40 amp inside the house in the main board. So if you watch the first fix video, basically this armoured 10 mil is glanded outside into a whisker box and just the inner cores coming through. We've then got two 2.5 radials. We've got a 10 mil going to an outside socket. If we ever have a hot tub or anything like that, we haven't got to reroute the cable. There's already a 10 mil there. I've just put it on an outside socket for now. And then we've got a lighting circuit. So we're going to be fitting those onto BG Fortress RCBOs. Plenty of neutral length on the flying lead. This is your 32. So 32, I'm going to put on the outside socket for now. Then we've got two 16s and a six. I've knocked the back out of the fuse board and I've put their little strip that clips in that it's supplied with. So I'm going to get this mounted now. I'm not going to show you all the details of um, mounting it and getting it installed because I've done loads on this channel. If you want to watch that, there is other videos for that. So we'll jump back when it's done. Boom, we're done. 32 on with the 10 mil outside lights, sockets in here, heater and lighting. I've put a bit of tape around the neutral and the earth just to show us because I didn't have any sleeving big enough. But yeah, that's done. Nice board, plenty of room, plenty and plenty of slack on the neutrals. As you can see, I've cut a lot of it off. I've got a bit of tidying up to do there, but I'm not going to rush because I'll be putting a spur down there eventually. I've got to get a bit of 25 from there to there, but that will be for another video. Lights are all on now, looking awesome. So she wants the switch like this. I know I've got a bit of filling around most of the sockets and that, but something's up with my um, multi-tool. It's not sitting properly and it's chipping everything. So that side does the six to that side. This one does the other four on this side. So I turn it back on, nice. And the middle one does the outside lights, but as they are smart, I'll just leave that turned on. It's still raining out there, so we'll have to go out after. But I've got it all linked up now onto my phone. My signal's not very good out here, but I've got it all connected up to this. So if we press color and blue, it then changes the light to blue. Green. My phone can get bloody signal. There you go, that's changed to green. So that'll change all four nicely. As you can see on my phone, this is the BG Smart app. So we've got my home, everything's linked through to smart device. I won't say a name because she'll start. So I've got floodlight, an outdoor socket on the back of the house. I've got bedroom spots and then they're the bedroom spots. These four spots are then the studio lights. So it's all linked through and we can just control it from here. I've got my Wi-Fi turned off. Normally these would come up with a little green uh, circle. It's telling me they're offline, but they're not. It's just my phone playing up. Once the Wi-Fi is in here, it will be a lot more responsive and faster, but for now I've set them up and they are all working nice. So just a quick recap through what we've got. We've got our fuse board there. There's gonna be a spur underneath. Is that blurry or is it my eyes? Don't know. We've got two WSB sockets there. We've got a double socket there and one for a TV up there. We've got a spur in the middle for a heater. We've got another double socket over there. What's it going on with this? Another one up the corner, it's just too white in here. We've got one over there and one down here. 
So everything's powered up, everything's working, everything's nice. All that's left in here now is a bit of tidying up, bit of tidying up, bit of patching. Sake. Hopefully the heating and dehumidifier will draw it out now. Um, I can't really see anything else coming through, but it was yesterday, it was quite bad. But since having the heating on, it has dried out a lot. Hopefully there's going to be no problems. I really, 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 really hope. But yeah, as you know, I am a big fan of BG and Liseco, Lucico. But yeah, really happy with everything. If you haven't given these lights or sockets or anything like that a try, then do go and give them a try. Even the board, I know it used to be terrible, but they have done a lot of work on it with electricians as well, such as me. In sorting it out, the lid goes on mint. That was the main problem with the original one. So give it a go. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have been using the new boards, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of this as well. I'm gonna snap forward to night time now and see what it looks like. Just got out of the shower. It's night time. I just had a near-death experience as well. I won't show you because YouTube will probably demonetize it or something. I've stood up in the bedroom, straight into the corner of a shelf, split my head open, there's blood pouring down my face, I'm scared of blood, I'm still light-headed now. Anyway, nice. Let's go outside and have a play with them. Look at that. That looks absolutely mint, doesn't it? Damn, let's change the colours. What do you want, blue? Okay, I'll press blue. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, you want red? All right, I'll press red. Oh, look at that. It was changing. Mm. Oh, you want a party? Oh, why didn't you say? <laughs> so yeah, they look mint. And so do these sockets and lights. So we've got the heater on. We've also got the dehumidifier on. That's because, I don't know if you can see that, but there's moisture trapped there on the wall and it's coming out in the joints, which is very, very upsetting. And also, why we drilled those. So I drilled these originally because I did not know where the moisture was coming from, but it was just trapped. Um, I've just emptied this, so I'll see if there's any water in it. So you can see there, it's probably been about two minutes. But we'll get there. We will get there. We've done it ourselves to save money. Um, Obviously, Ollie's done the plastering. There is a lot of moisture in plaster. I didn't really think about it. We've rushed and get the paint on, but it is what it is now. We just need to let it dry out before we put the flooring down and things like that. Bit gutted because I didn't expect it to happen, but it's one of them. Yeah.